particular plaque was um, not political. It was um, about our United States of America and our being under God. I, um, I didn't think there was anything wrong with our accepting that plaque because our children learn the, um, the pledge to the flag. They can sing so well the national anthem. Um, we need to um, emphasize these things, especially during wartime. There's so many kids uh, out there now who have parents who are in Iraq or in other places, and they need to know that uh, their schools are standing behind what is happening to their families. Um, I don't think there's uh, anything wrong with our accepting those plaques. I was for that from the beginning. I worried that there would be uh, some flack from it, but it worked out to be a good thing. So I hope that if that comes up again and other things are, uh, we have other donations, that those, we can work out those things. I think it's a matter of accepting some <coughs> and rejecting some. I do not believe that we should accept donations from outsiders um, for this sort of thing. I have nothing wrong, no problem with the sentiment expressed. But I think we now live in a country that is diverse. Whose God are you going to be putting on the wall? This is, a, this is an effort of a right-wing Christian group. And that's the God they had in mind. Now we've got Muslims, Buddhists, Baha'i, maybe not, uh, not many of them in Mooresville, but in our country we do have people of very religious beliefs. And I just think to kind of stand aside and let an outside organization do anything of this kind is inappropriate. I'm not sure any of us can do this justice in one minute, but um, from my standpoint, political agendas aside is the national motto. Uh, that's as patriotic to me as the Pledge of Allegiance. So if a Muslim organization wants to put the Pledge of Allegiance in the school, I'm for it. Uh, it's patriotic. I, I, that's the way I looked at the issue. Uh, political agendas aside, uh, I think anything from a, from, a, from, a, from a national patriotic standpoint is well represented and well welcomed in schools. I think that's our history. I think our students learn that history. That is our national motto. This is where we A big part of our social studies curriculum from elementary to middle to high school is looking at the history of this nation and certain significant events and symbols, the symbol of the flag, the singing of the national anthem, the significance of certain phrases, mottos, creeds are an important part of who we are as Americans. The real issue here is who paid for it and are there strings attached? I think it's an important uh, objective of this Board of Education to look at any time someone offers you funding, support, stuff, uh, are there strings attached? And it is, it is that in the best interest of the school district, the staff, and the students. But always look at what is expected. 